Take action. Greetings once again. I do greet you in the name of the Most High. That name is Jesus. And I do thank God for sending His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. To be so brave to endure the pain of the cross. Amen. We do thank Him for that. And we know that that couldn't keep life down. Because He is risen. Amen. And He went before them into Galilee. Amen. And many other works and miraculous things Jesus did as he led, led them out as far as, as into Bethany. Amen. And then he went up and the cloud received him out of their sight. And we know the same way he left is the same way he will return. He said, Behold, he come up with the clouds and all eyes shall see him, even they which pierced him. Amen. It's a good day. Amen. And we have to stop piercing the Son of Man, today, even symbolically, by continuing to think that you could just live any old type of way. It don't work like that. God's Son, I said God's Son, paid too much of a price on the cross. Amen. I want to enlighten you a bit on the way and for those who are followers of the way. Amen. Jesus is the way of Christians. Why we act the way we act, amen. Why we go out and, and preach, amen. Why do we seem angry, amen. I believe the Bible says be angry and sin not. How do you feel when you hear about a, a drag queens teaching children and putting on strip shows in libraries? And uh, I found out the other day that they have a, a pole dancing. You know, strippers, they do pole dancing and now they have it for young kids as young as 10 years old i just just got that word by, by word of uh the internet there and my goodness i felt angry the bible says be angry and sin now you don't want to go take a baseball bat now nah, but we're preaching these things amen let me let me uh enlighten you in the prophet isaiah 58 real quick at one isaiah 58 and one get your bibles let's study the word of god 58, 1 of Isaiah. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sin. So it's like we're crying, amen. It's like we're pleading with the people and we got to show them something, amen. The Bible says preach the word in season and out of season. Then you got to re reprove, rebuke, exhort, amen. And when you're doing those things, just showing people they're wrong. That's why it says here, and show my people their transgression. Transgressions when you went too far, amen. The, uh, I, be, I believe the Bible says sin is transgression of the law, amen. In the house of Jacob, their sins. So you got to show people their sins, and you got to cry about it. That's what preaching is, to try to exhort and rebuke. Sometimes you got to give a, a strong rebuke. It says those that sin rebuke before all, amen. That's why we do the things that we do. Amen. There's talk about, uh, oh boy, you, you, you sound so angry and this and that. But like I told you in the Bible, be angry and sin not. Remember over there, let's turn to Mark, third chapter. Jesus, speaking to the Pharisees, I believe. Uh, three and at four of Mark. It says in he saith unto them, it is lawful, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath day or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they held their peace. And when he had looked round about them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he saith unto the man, stretch forth thy hand. Amen. And he stretched it out and his hand was restored whole as the other. Notice how it says in verse five of Mark. Jesus, when he look, had looked round about them with anger, where well, it lines up with be angry and sin not. Yeah, we're angry because we're crying. We're pleading with the people. We see the injustice of homosexuality and same sex marriage. And, and they're teaching a homosexual curriculum in class. And they're uh, 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 taking the colors of the rainbow for themselves. Amen. When that was supposed to be a sign from God that will never flood the earth again. How are you supposed to feel? Amen. Preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. Jesus Christ got up. Amen. And he's coming back with his eyes as a flame of fire. So Jesus looked round about them with anger. 
you know the story as well. Over there, I believe it's in Matthew. Yeah, let's turn to Matthew 21 and 12. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said unto them, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And don't you see that today? Amen. From uh, uh, old fake smiley Joe Osteen. Amen. To uh, the TBN network. And uh, uh, they had to do Rick Warren back in the day. And even uh, old TD Fake selling his books. Amen. And, and Joyce. Facelift Myers. Facelift Myers uh, selling CDs and all this weird stuff and then sometimes you go into these congregations and they they <clears throat> selling dinners and, and selling this and selling that. Well, that's when Jesus uh, put forth some anger. He was angry. He overthrew the money changers. Amen. And they were selling in the temple of God. But it's the house of prayer for all nations. Amen. Ain't no such thing as no black church. Ain't no such thing as no white church. One blood, all nations. Remember that. He said, it's the house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of thieves. Don't you know they're making church a business nowadays? They're nothing but CEOs like Creflo Dollar, that old pulpit pimp. And I hope you hear this, Creflo, TD, Joyce Meyer, or uh, 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 old smiley face Joe Osteen. I hope you hear this. And Jesus, I'm in Matthew 21 and 12. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple. Ain't that what they do? What they doing now? Trying to be slick and goodness, you go out into the lobby, they selling something and and selling this and selling that. Hey, look, if you're in a church that does this, pull the pastor aside, and if you don't get it right, in the baptism in Jesus' name and living holy and 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 um, um, calling Jesus the Son of God, not being afraid to say that, then you need to leave that church. Come out from among them and be ye separate, except the Lord. And I shall receive you. You can be sons and daughters, except the Almighty. Amen. 21 and 12, I'm in Matthew, Jesus. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves. So you see Jesus looked upon him with anger. You see him anger and taking action. Amen. That's why we cry aloud and spare not. Amen. Man, how do you feel when you when you see Obama said he believed two men could get married? Amen. How are you supposed to feel when you see a Bruce Jenner on the cover of a a a, a, a magazine like that's something special? When you see uh, Publix talking about oh yeah 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 let's cover up Trump, but you don't want to cover up Bruce Jenner, you don't want to cover up uh uh, uh Obama. <laughs> I'm, that's just an example. You no know, Trump ain't you know he ain't look. I look to Jesus Christ the Messiah, but that's just an example. So forget about all that. Let me end it real quick. I'm in Ephesians. And I'm going to go to Ephesians 4, 26. It says, be ye angry. Yes, we have a right to be angry. But we ain't going to take a baseball bat up to somebody. Because then you, you don't, you, you don't sin. Amen. And sometimes you don't want to premeditate no foolishness like that. But the Bible said, uh, be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Amen. I'm, okay, let me flip right over. Also in Ephesians 5 and 11, why we do the things we do. Why I say the things I say, because you got to be shocked. In order for a muscle to grow, you got to shock it, amen. Ephesians 5, hey, and all those ones I mentioned, I hope you watch this, and I hope you repent. Grow a backbone. Ephesians 5 and 11, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. What does that mean to be exposed? Tell them what they're doing is wrong. Light exposed things that's in the darkness. You turn the light on, the roaches flee, amen. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done to them in secret. It's so shameful to say you got a... Uh, uh, Drag queens, transvestites, teaching little kids like it's a strip show, and then you have pool dancing for kids. And all these kidnappers is getting close to that wicked Halloween started by some pagans, amen. And they're kidnapping kids. Man, how do you feel when you hear that? Men stealers. 
For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done to them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Jesus Christ is the true light. Wake up before it's everlasting too late. He's soon to return. He's coming with the clouds.